Hey, sweet people. Hey, everybody. Hey, kids. Oh, everybody at Christina's Dance World. It's so good to bring you in my kitchen. We've been dancing Monday through Thursday. I'm Christina Godwin of Christina's Dance World, and I've been tuning in um, on Facebook Live and our YouTube channel to stay connected with our clients. Hey friends, coming in. Hey Ashley. Oh my gosh. It's so good that you've already jumped on. Hey listen, welcome to my eclectic vintage kitchen. I'm going to um, try to give you mothers and fathers and grandparents and adults that have been taking care of all these kids um, a great escape in the kitchen today. Um, Congratulations to everybody. You've made it your first week of homeschooling. And I just want everybody to know these videos are not in light of what's going on in the world, but hope, hopefully to help us stay connected and help us all feel centered and just take a deep breath and know you're not alone. We're all keeping a close eye on the news and President Trump and all of his announcements and what's going on in the world, but we still have to eat. We still have to exercise and move around. We've got to keep our mental, spiritual, and physical wellness on a good, on a good level. And so hopefully these videos are helping y'all do that along with me. Um, because I know I need you. And kids, all of my students, I miss you so much. I just have every one of your little faces going through my my vision right now in my mind. I can see every one of you and you look great. I hope y'all have been behaving and helping around the house and getting your schoolwork done. But my goodness, it's Saturday. And you know what I wanna do? Um, you know how we read the Prince and Princess devotion book every day? Well, kids, if it's okay with you, today is adult day. We're going to read the Jesus Calling before we even get started in the kitchen, okay? I want to share a recipe with you. I guess you can call it a recipe. I never measure. It's always just by what I'm craving and my taste buds, what they want. But this is one of my favorite dishes that I've been wanting to share with y'all for a really, really long time. So before we even start to cook, we're gonna read the Jesus Calling together to just be able to breathe and relax our spirit. And I'm going to teach you how to make lemon feta salmon, okay? It's yummy. Um, I'm glad to be home today in the kitchen because cooking and gardening are my other hobbies outside of the dance world. So I hope y'all are doing well. Today is March 21st. So take a deep breath with me and um, Let's read the word. Trust me and don't be afraid, for I am your strength and song. Think what it means to have me as your strength. I spoke the universe into existence. My power is absolutely unlimited. Human weakness consecrated to me is like a magnet, drawing my power into your neediness. However, fear can block the flow of my strength into you. Instead of trying to fight your fears, concentrate on trusting me. When you relate to me in confident trust, there is no limit to how much I can strengthen you. Remember that I am also your song. I want you to share my joy, living in conscious awareness of my presence. Rejoice as we journey together toward heaven and join me in singing my song. Amen. So just think of your favorite song, a worship song. It could be a rock tune, pop star um, tune, whatever, whatever genre of song you want. Just think of the one song that brings you peace because you know music does that so well. Music is the only thing that brings the right side of the brain and the left side of the brain together harmoniously to bring us centered and relax the mind. I love thinking about my favorite music. So amen to that. Couple of scriptures for us today. Isaiah 12, two and three. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. That's timely right now, isn't it? The Lord 
The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Hey, everybody, I see y'all popping up and tuning in. I can't wait to share this dish with you. Hey, everybody, I've got one more scripture before we start cooking. Psalm 21, 6. Surely you have granted him eternal blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. So today's message is wonderful to trust God and don't be afraid. He is our strength and our song, and we must not lose faith, especially in a time like this. So I hope y'all are staying strong faithfully, and um, thank you for coming to see me today in the kitchen. I'm Christina Godwin of Christina's Dance World, and I've been making these live videos this week, not only in dance and fitness, but we had um, Nature Day yesterday with God, and now we're gonna cook, and I can't wait to share my favorite dish. My husband loves it, thank goodness, because we have it probably four nights a week. <laughs> it's very healthy, and I'm gonna try to show you a kid's version, everybody. So kids, don't say, ooh, yuck, until you try it, okay? You just might like it, and it's good for you, okay? So we have salmon. I love buying the large filet at Sam's and slicing up my own filets and um, freezing them and have it ready to just pull out of the freezer whenever we want to have salmon. So the first ingredient for this Greek girl, just in case you didn't know, I'm half Greek. So olive oil is the only oil that we cook with in this house. So this is Mediterranean lemon feta salmon. Now listen, you see how I'm pouring it in there? You can't just drizzle olive oil in the dish when you're going to put this salmon in the oven. You really need to make sure you coat the dish with olive oil and almost make, make enough in there that your fish is swimming. <laughs> this will help your fish stay moist and really full of um, fluff while it, when it comes out of the oven. So I've squeezed one whole lemon in here. So there's my lemon juice. And I like to put the lemon juice and the olive oil and my two spices in before I roll the fish around in there. The next ingredient is black pepper. Hey, everybody. So here's my black pepper. Again, I apologize. I've never been one to measure, hence why I don't bake a lot. But you want to make sure that um, you use salt and pepper. If you can, if your family diet allows it, and I like kosher salt, I'm not gonna put too much, but just enough that you're gonna have some good flavor. After the salt and pepper go in, and I have washed my hands 80 times today already, so I'm gonna put these salmon fillets in the olive oil and lemon juice with salt and pepper, and I'm gonna roll them around and coat every side with the olive oil and lemon juice and salt and pepper. Now, if you want to add other spices, like I know my father and mother, they love oregano, and um, they usually add that. The older I've gotten, I've just kind of gotten away from every other spice because I have found that just salt and pepper does a great job and then you'll see what I do for more flavor um, in just a second. It's all about the toppings <laughs> and you can do any toppings you like along with um, the ones that I'm going to share with you. Now, I've got these three little pieces. They were kind of the end pieces of that long filet. And I did this for a party recently. And it was such a good idea that I'm gonna show you how it's done today. For children especially, I make little salmon nuggets, just like chicken nuggets. So I'm going to cook, cut the salmon in small little cubes. And then this way, you can put them off to the side and not have to necessarily put the feta cheese on there for your kids. Um, but guess what, kids? 
Feta cheese is awesome. It rocks. But it is going to go in our olive oil, lemon juice, and salt and pepper because that's what makes it so yummy. Okay. I'm rolling around the little nuggets now. I wasn't sure if I was going to share a secret ingredient. Hey, everybody. Hi. There's a secret ingredient I came across accidentally. Hold on, I'll tell you in just a second. Oh, it's so pretty outside. It is so pretty outside. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful weather. Okay. I've also been drying my hands with paper towels more than a, a rag lately. I guess as we should. One night, I went to make my lemon feta salmon and I was out of fresh lemons or lemon juice at all. So I thought, well, to give it that tangy flavor, I do have white vinegar. Well, guess what? The night I added white vinegar as a substitute for lemon juice, it turned out amazing. The salmon came out fluffy and not dry. Ella dog, Ella dog loves salmon. So I'm going to add it. Even though I already have lemon juice in here, I'm gonna put just a couple of splashes of white vinegar. Oh, really? Really? Are you serious right now? And now I'll flip the fish over again now that I've added the white vinegar. So, so far we have fresh salmon fillets, oil, olive oil, of course, lemon juice, freshly squeezed, and white vinegar, and salt and pepper, and small pieces, little salmon nuggets for our children. Can you lay down? Just lay down. Lay down like Charlie Dog. Lay down. And I'll give you a treat in a little bit. You just had one. Well, I can at least promise the doggies like my cooking. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is wonderful. It's a wonderful dish. So, now we have our salmon in our yummy mixture. And you get to put your toppings on. So, I think... Today, I want to do rosemary. We're gonna put some fresh rosemary and some nuts and cranberries. Okay, I've got some pecans and pistachios in here and craisins. So what I'll do, oh, and some yummy little grape tomatoes. I've got the yellow ones today. So let's put all of our dry ingredients on first, like the nuts. So I'm going to chop some pistachios and pecans, and I guess I should have done this before I turned it on, turned on the, the live video, but that's okay. This way we get to spend a little more time together. I want to know what you kids have been doing since we've been apart. I did see Cora and Isla Rose Holland. They sent me a, a video of them doing the workout with me, the sunshine, workout in the sunshine out on the pool deck. So I want to ask all of our kids to send videos to me. I want to see you dancing in the living room or out in the street. <laughs> in the driveway, wherever you can. So here are pecans and pistachios on top of the salmon. I'm going to leave everything off of the little nuggets except the feta cheese, okay? So yum, Pistachio, pistachios and pecans on the salmon. And that's the dry ingredient. So we'll put that between the fish and our feta cheese so the moisture from both of those can
can attack the dry ingredients. Now I've got craisins. So I'm going to put the craisins because I love, and Terry, my husband loves all of these ingredients. So we're going to go for it today. Share this with you. Now, something that I did wash the um, rosemary earlier today because I wanted it to be dry for when I break it up and put it over the fish so it wouldn't stick to my fingers so bad. Okay, so we've got some fresh salmon, I mean um, rosemary. A lot of times I'll put the rosemary in the oil with the salt and pepper and roll it around and that's yummy too. But I'm just doing it for garnish and it will just bake in from the top today. Let's add some tomatoes. I wonder if any of the kids out there will eat these tomatoes with you. I hope so. When I was a little girl, and still, I loved to just eat a tomato like a snack. What a healthy snack, right? Let's see if this is enough. So we've got some yellow little grape tomatoes on top of our salmon fillets. I'm gonna repeat myself for those of you who are just checking in. We have fresh salmon in olive oil, fresh lemon juice, salt and pepper, and we're putting toppings on our salmon fillets. We chopped up pistachios and pecans, and we have rosem fresh rosemary out of the backyard, and little yellow grape tomatoes. Lee Veal, my friend, the rosemary bush you gave me is thriving next to the one that was already there. So thank you for all the fresh rosemary in the yard. I love, love, love it. And I get to think of you every time I go out there. Just like another friend, 10 years ago, my friend Susan Emhoff gave me this Jesus Calling book. Mwah. I've read it every day for the last 10 years. Now, I keep going back and washing my hands because I cook with my hands. Um, the feta cheese, I've already broken it up from a block. You don't wanna buy your feta cheese already crumbled because it'll dry out before you can buy it. So you want to have juicy, healthy feta cheese. So you break it up with your fingers from the block is the best way. Now, if you wanna be fancy and you're um, presenting feta cheese, say on a charcuterie tray, that's when I'll slice it with a knife. So it's a pretty cube of feta cheese, but I love crumbling fresh feta. And now kids, this is where I'm gonna introduce you to feta cheese. We're going to crumble it on your nuggets, your little uh, salmon fillets, okay? Your little salmon fillet nuggets. Just like having some um, fish sticks except these are fresh and good for you. Nothing fried here. So I've preset or preheating the oven on 350. <laughs> and Ella dog loves to stand right behind me. So we have to be careful backing up in the kitchen with Ella dog around. Okay, now the last thing that we do to make our salmon cook really well is you scope it out. So what I mean by that is, do I have enough olive oil and lemon juice for all of these toppings? Sometimes not. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add some more. If I can't get my spoon around the fish, to dip some olive oil and vinegar. We added a little white vinegar in there. I keep forgetting to tell y'all about that little hidden secret. Then you simply add some more. So I'm gonna put a little more olive oil in our dish, just a touch. Just a little drizzle. And if you put it right over that um, feta cheese, It'll help let the feta brown on top. 
so you'll know it's good and ready. And you know what else? I'm going to add another lemon or maybe just a half lemon. So um, what I like to do is wash my lemons. I wash my lemons and the peel when I bring them home from the grocery store and before I even put them in the bowl, okay? And then that way, when it's time to cook, you know you have a clean lemon peel because you know when that knife goes through your citrus, whatever's on the outside catches on the knife and goes right through your fruit. So be real careful with citrus that hasn't been washed. Did you know um, a trick I recently learned? It's wonderful. If you get some lemons that aren't quite ripe and soft and feel juicy, you can just pop it in the microwave hole and warm it up and it helps allow you to do this nice and easy. So this is another half of a lemon and I've already put a whole lemon in here. So don't be afraid of the amount of olive oil and lemon juice when you're making your lemon feta salmon. I'm gonna pour it right over the top. So again, that lemon juice is getting on top of the feta cheese. Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, do I have all of the ingredients that I wanted today? I think so. Something's telling me to add just a couple of more little sprigs of rosemary for garnish. Maybe even on a couple of the kids' salmon nuggets. And here we go. So the oven is preheated to 350 degrees. These are uh, fresh salmon fillets in olive oil, fresh lemon juice, a little touch of white vinegar, pecans and pistachios that we chopped up with some craisins, dried cranberries on there, feta cheese, and fresh rosemary. And we made little nuggets on the side for the kids. So you put this in the oven for exactly 30 minutes. So I just always say, hey Siri, set my alarm for 30 minutes <laughs> so I can go on and do other things and not worry about checking the oven. You want to try to keep it closed for the 30 minutes, of course, so all of that good heat around your fish doesn't escape while it's cooking. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm going to stop this live video, okay? And then I'm going to come in for part two. I'm going to turn you all back on um, so we can connect in 30 minutes right when I'm pulling this out of the oven, okay? Thank y'all for tuning in. I can't wait to come back in 30 minutes and I can't wait to look at all your comments. Thank you for staying connected. Again, if you don't know me, I'm Christina Godwin of Christina's Dance World and these videos have been so fun this week to stay connected with my clients and students and other friends in the community and out in the world. Thank you for being connected with me. I love y'all. See you in a bit. Happy salmon. <laughs> Yay. Hey, guess what I just decided? We're gonna go out in the garden. Just a spin before I turn this off. Woo, all the birds. <gasps> All the birds were here having bird seed. So, welcome to my butterfly and flower garden. We live under some really big oak trees. And so, right now, the leaves are a fallen. I mean, they are falling and falling. And so, we are like in a big leafy bed. My husband, Terry, said, you know what? I'm gonna put invitations in the neighbor's mailbox and invite them to the festival of leaves. <laughs> And we're just going to celebrate these leaves that give us so much. Oh, they're not trouble, but we can't put down fresh pine straw in the beds like we like to have fluffy pine straw until all the leaves are finished falling. But anyway, the fig tree behind me, can you see the fig leaves have started to come out? I love spring. And behind me now are three huge, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six three huge and three small hydrangea bushes and the little leaves are starting to come out now. It's time, it's springtime for all the wonderful flowers and our lantana bushes. 
We have huge lantana bushes in this yard and the butterflies love them. And I love the butterflies. Yep. Oh, and our friends, Misty and Jeffrey Johns. Oh my goodness, can you see how big the citrus tree has grown that you gave us last year? We got so many lemons from this tree and look at all the new growth. And the fun thing about this um, citrus tree, y'all, is it grows five different citrus fruits on the one tree. Yep, it's pretty amazing. And then I have some little pots down here. Let's see if I can show you. There's some little pots of fresh lemon seeds that I put in these little pots from, from a seed. Michelle Dantzler, thank you for the lemon seeds from your lemon tree. It's time for me to put them in larger pots so they can grow even bigger because they have grown and they're showing me new growth right now too. This is an angel trumpet tree that's absolutely gorgeous when it blooms. And we have our um, butterfly milkweed. We have a butterfly milkweed plant over here and the butterflies have been doing their job. They've been, I mean the, um, I'm sorry, the caterpillars. Yeah, here they are. Let me show you. I wonder, can you see these caterpillars right here? These caterpillars, y'all? Oh, they're about to be butterflies. You know, there's a fun saying. And I always like to think of this little saying when I feel sad <laughs> or down for whatever reason. And it goes like this. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was coming to an end, it became a butterfly. Hey, Jennifer Jo Waters. Oh my goodness. Hey, Amy Cook. Um, and then here's that beautiful fragrant plant again. It's called Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. And kids, we, we talked about this yesterday. It's so fragrant and it has that name because it blooms a flower from white to lavender to purple. And it's so fragrant. Oh my gosh, it smells like perfume. I'd love for you to be able to smell it. But listen, I'm going to go put my timer on now for 25 minutes since we've been hanging out outside for about five minutes so that I can tune back in in 25 minutes and let you see the lemon feta salmon that we just made together. Bye. Love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see some sweet comments. No, I love you. Keep your mind happy. Keep your heart loving. Keep your spirit full and keep your body moving. Bye.